some good and bad news tonight in the battle against the devastating coconut rhinoceros beetle. No new beetles have been found in central Oahu or east Honolulu. But as KITV4's Catherine Cruz tells us, they're now turning up on Oahu's west side. It's possible that there are rhino beetles nesting in an area at the back of Lualuale Valley. Since January of this year, crews have trapped 38 beetles in Lualuale and Nanakuli. It's the sporadic nature of what we're seeing that is making it hard for us to determine what's really going on. Crews actually found a beetle out in this area, and since then, traps like these line Pakea Road in the back of the valley. There's a lot more illegal dumping of waste. There's a lot more collection of green waste in people's backyards. There's a lot more of these activities that make it easier for the beetle to build up a population or potentially spread. Onishi says he's encouraged after a year and a half of trapping in central Oahu and east Honolulu. We have found nothing, so we've removed the buffers around those areas. And that we're adjusting our trapping in those areas. We're scaling it back. Those traps are now being deployed from Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, specifically Iroquois Point, out west. The military has eliminated more than 100 potentially infested trees. They're burning the green waste. But even with all the trapping and visual inspections of trees and searching for active breeding sites, there's no guarantee the state will be successful in eradicating the pest. Still, the numbers are down. I can tell you I, I feel good about the project, but I can't tell you, you know, what our chances of, of success are. One big problem crews are encountering is that some private landowners aren't giving the state permission to enter their property, and that's hampering the search for nesting areas. And there's little the state can do about it. Officials are appealing to the public to help them curb the problem while they still can. Essentially showing kukua to the program and allowing us to, to do our job in the area. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. Now, so far, the state has trapped some 3,000 rhino beetles. The public's being asked to call the state pest hotline to report any sightings. For links to find out more about the destructive invasive species, just log on to KITV.com.